welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you a rather large haul today and it was picked up at two or three different locations. And so the first item I'm gonna, or items that I'm going to talk about are my new wingback chairs. And I'm not going to uh, let you guys know yet where I'm going to put those because it's part of a surprise. And I am so excited I found these. So they are very large wingback chairs and they have the white slip covers on them. And so I was on Craigslist, I believe, and found these chairs and the guy was willing to sell them to me for $50 a piece. And of course I am here in California and so he was located at Carmel by the Sea. Okay, so, which is a very, uh, very high end place. So my sister and I drove to Carmel and see how he was at Carmel by the Sea. If I wish I could have captured his cottage for you guys. Oh my word. Literally, he had a cottage that was um, by the sea. And he told me his wife had the slip covers specially made for these chairs. So this is just not an ordered slip cover. They fit the chairs and um, they actually zip closed at $50 a piece. So I got such a steal on my chairs and I was so excited at the new spot that they are going to be going to. Yeah, so I got my new wingback chairs. Like I said, they, those were $50 a piece. And really quick note, while we were in Carmel, we took the kids to the beach and a really pretty spot. It was just right off of a tourist street and um, the kids discover another little sea creature and um, we even spotted I'm not sure what it was, if it was a, a sea lion or whatever it was, but anyhow. Okay, let's jump in and get into this thrift haul. I'll let you guys know that I am leaning towards, touch, I want farmhouse look, and of course it's gonna still have the cottage look, but I definitely want to start incorporating farmhouse. So, I have this chalkboard, okay, so, and it's got the little eraser. So this chalkboard, so imagine this just kind of propped up somewhere. Does that not have a farmhouse, old schoolhouse vibe? And this was a dollar at an estate sale that we went to. So there we go, this chalkboard. And this is just a newer chalkboard. In fact, it is the Rose Art brand, which you can get at stores, but I will just display it like that. And I thought about staining this and the wood. So let me know if you guys think I should stain it or leave it. But yeah, got this chalkboard and that's gonna look such a, a, a nod towards farmhouse. And at that same estate sale was this I'm, did I already tell you guys, I'm using a different tripod, so I feel like I'm kind of up close to you guys. This is rather large, and I think this is to hold ashes, so somebody can let me know. Look at the spout. Yeah, so this had a $25 tag on it, and I got it for $10. So that's going to be very uh, just simple and can kind of make a statement. I could even maybe stick some wood in it. Why not? There we go. And the black is so farmhouse. And yes, I have two nieces here, so I have five kids out in the dining room. So you are gonna hear some kid noises today. So some of you may have heard of Cannery Row, and that is in Monterey, which was right by Carmel. So we stopped at a two-story antique store on Cannery Row. And I got this ironstone picture, okay? 
Look at that, you guys, is that not Farmhouse? Some of you may know the movie, Sarah Plain and Tall. I'm so into that movie and it is so Farmhouse. Oh my goodness, okay, but yes, isn't this Farmhouse? Look at that and it's large and it is Ironstone. Okay, and this, okay, I normally don't pay these prices. This was $24, but look, just look at how beautiful. Look at the little, what, would that be considered a scallop edge? So pretty. Imagine this with maybe a pitcher of fresh flowers in it. Yeah, my rather large, this is a good size farmhouse pitcher. Then I ran one night, when was it? I ran to our Goodwill. And so I went there and I got quite a bit of items, okay? Now I know this is cottage, but this also has a Sarah Plain and Tall farmhouse look. Look at this hat and the it's got this band on it. Yes, look at that. I mean, this could go pretty much all seasons. So beautiful and great condition. So, and this was, um, Goodwill has their prices set. This was, I believe, $4.95. So got this hat and it says it's 100% grass. So whatever that means, I got this basket. Does this not say farm eggs? Look at this basket. And it's got the, these handles can move. Do they? Nope, they don't go all the way down. But they can move and it's very open and see-through. I don't have a basket like this. And then look at the little the little handles, how it's hooking up. Isn't that neat? And it, it that that makes it really look um handmade in a way. So I got another basket to add to my collection and this was probably $4.95 as well. So $5 for a basket, oops. At that same store I got, okay, so I am into displaying white pictures. I showed you in my hallway that I had three displayed. So yeah, I feel like I'm kind of running low. So I got this little, this little guy. And this kind of has a, this has a Victorian flair to it, doesn't it? Which is farmhouse. So look at that. Okay. I actually like this way more than when I first bought it. So you guys imagine in the spring, okay, if my room was done, but look at these. It's a pair of what is that like a pink and touch of blue and yellow and these are pillowcases so i got a pair of them so imagine those with a bunch of white bedding okay so the look i'm going for in my room whenever i can get to it is it's going the bedding is going to be very relaxed okay and white and i'm doing um woods in there and yeah so this is going to be very farmhouse but yet cottage okay and these have that really nice already worn feel kind of silky so i of course got the pair and i believe the pair was 4.95 so to go with this look at this quilt you guys so again imagine the bedding is a neutral color either cream or white and kind of tucked in under all that is this rose or pink colored quilt with these, okay, with the rest of the cream bedding. So, I mean, I got an instant spring bedding for my upcoming new bedroom. I mean, so, and the quilt was also $4.95. I mean, you're talking around $10 for spring bedding and the quilt is in very good condition. And this was picked up, I had ran to our local Habitat for Humanity. They've actually changed the name. I'm not sure what the new name is, 
But look, I got another picture. So pretty. This one is so pretty. And it even has some discoloring right there, which is beautiful. This was $1.50. And when you start going, I don't hardly go to antique stores, but when you go, I come out inspired to go to, to, go to estate sales because the prices at, at antique stores can be obviously more expensive than uh, thrifting. Just in about a week or two of thrifting, look at that, three pictures. So at, when I went to that Goodwill in town, this was part of that haul as well. Does this not have a farmhouse cozy vibe to it? And it's got the little button. And also I will look for this sometimes it's got the zipper, so I know it'll be a little bit of work, but I can take the stuffing out, wash this cover, and then restuff it and zip it back up, and it'll be nice and clean. And this was $4.95, which I don't think is the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. So, but this can just add a little bit of flare up against a chair, or even maybe sitting in one of my new uh, wingback chairs. My youngest little boy had got a seashell collection that he was holding on to. And then he had it for a while and then he gifted me this seashell, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yes, so this is going to be displayed somewhere, which is just absolutely beautiful. And to me, this is so something that somebody back in the day would have displayed because it's something they could have got their hands on and um, it would have been free. I think people were very frugal back then. So anyhow, yeah, I got this seashell and he's really nice size. So, and I'll always know that it was from my youngest son. Look at it, how beautiful. Okay, that is my thrift haul for today and stay tuned for my upcoming surprise that I cannot wait to get done. So, and I'm gonna try to capture um, like as I'm doing it, then I can take you guys along after it's done. All right, well, thank you for being here and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button and you can stay tuned for more upcoming videos, Lord willing. So. Thank you for being here as I create Cottage Diaries.